Steve Green, and in this video I'd like to present basic bone splaying technique in a traditional style that would particularly go with um, fiddle music, old time, 4-4, four 2-4 four, four time, polka, reels, and that sort of music. Bones are an uh, ancient instrument that has been found in uh, cultures all around the world going back thousands of years. Originally, they were made from rib bones of the cow. Uh, the ones I'm playing are made from wood, from yellow pine. You hold your bones with the primary bone being held between the index finger and the forefinger and held firmly by the forefinger against the palm of the hand right where the heel of your thumb joins the palm. The secondary bone is held between the forefinger and the ring finger, and it's held more loosely so that it can move, and it's the movement of the secondary bone against the firmly held one that makes the sound. The basic sound is on the outward movement, where your forearm moves away from you and your wrist rolls. The return sound is when your wrist rolls back toward your body. When I'm playing bones, I do the primary rhythm of the music in my left hand so that the outward movement is the downbeat and the inward movement is the offbeat. Downbeat, offbeat. I'll often keep that rhythm also with my feet so that my heel is the downbeat. And sometimes I'll do a heel and toe where I have downbeat or offbeat. So downbeat, offbeat on my foot corresponds to the bones. Oftentimes with the bones players, you'll hear a triple sound, not to be confused with a triplet and clogging. It's a bounce between the outward movement and the inward movement. So, with one set of bones, you have three things you can work with in your basics. The single sound, the double, and the triple. By mixing and matching those sounds, you can get an interesting percussive line. So, so far we haven't talked about the other set of bones, which is I'm holding in my right hand. It's somewhat shorter than the set in my left hand, so that it'll have a different tone which adds interest. Playing bones with both hands is an intermediate level skill, and if you'd like to uh, look more into that, you can find my video on intermediate level traditional bones playing. But just a little bit about it, when I'm playing with both hands, I play with twice the tempo of my right with my left, so that if my foot's beating out the basic tempo, my right hand is going like this. Well, thank you for your time watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. And good luck with your bones playing.